Hello everyone. How are you tonight? I hope well. I'm just getting things situated here. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. I'm just gathering my supplies and um, I'm doing a, going to do a Christmas card, Christmas in July um, tonight. And I'm hoping um, I'm doing it from uh, off the top of my head. Um, I saw a card similar to this. So I'm um, using the Season of Green and Gold Designer Series paper. So I'll open that pack up and show you that. I'm just switching to my extended um, Wi-Fi so that everything will work well. Uh, And I'm just going to get my comments up here as people hop on. Tell me hi. I'd love to hear from you and talk with you. So Stampin' Up! July is still bonus day. So any orders that you place over $50, for every $50 you get $5. Um, a five dollar coupon to use in August. So make sure you take advantage of that. And let me see here. Yes, I'm live and my comments are up. So hopefully we'll have a good night, good reception and all that good stuff. Um, how's everyone doing? I hope well. Um, I've had a crazy day you know, doing busy things, housework and stuff. My sister from Virginia will be coming in tomorrow. She's just stopping here, uh, just passing through. She's going to have dinner with us. And then she's going to um, head on up north. We have a big family reunion coming up um, a week from tomorrow. Woohoo! So much fun. All right. Hello, Sharon. How are you? I saw all your wonderful... Um, pictures from your trip at Island 10. Those fish were incredible. I never saw if you replied to my question. I commented on one. Do you keep the fish and eat them or do you release? Hi, Nancy. All right. I am going to point you to my work surface and I'm going to show you this beautiful designer series paper that we're going to use tonight. All right. Hi, Dolores. I didn't know if people would find me tonight with um, um, with me going a half hour earlier. Um, I thought I thought uh, Randy would be here, but he's not. So I'm trying to keep an eye on the dogs too, because they like to get into mischief when they're left alone. Got a big one. Catch and release. We do. Okay. All right, Sharon. I, would, I don't know that I could release fish. I like fish. So this DSP is called Season of Green and Gold. And this is an online exclusive. So this is a foil. There's a gold foil in it. And this is the back side. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Oh, and it's all the shades of green. This is gold foiled, little diamonds, and then bells. Those are pretty. And there is a stamp set that goes with this too. And the checkered, checkered, what? plaid, 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 plaid. And the gold and vanilla. And some stars, and those are all gold foil, and then those are the matte finish. So I have, hmm, I have a piece of white for the inside of my card. So I want to make sure that I use a DSP that has the white. Um, I think I'm going to use 
this piece here. So I'm going to put this up, these other sheets away. Put it back in the sleeve. And hopefully I won't tear it. Yep, slides right on. Yay! So the colors that this coordinates with is Garden Green, Mossy Metal, Ol Old Olive, Pecan Pie, Very Vanilla, and Gold. Beautiful, beautiful paper. I also need a piece of gold foil. Um, I do keep all my scraps of my gold. Um, I made an uh, ornament last night and I needed a little piece of gold to make a star about that big. So I used one of these uh, areas within the start, uh, the hearts, and I didn't waste any paper. So cool. All right, so I've got these, and I'm using garden green, and then white for the inside. These berries are white, that's why I didn't go with the very vanilla. So let me set this stuff aside. I do need one more punch. I'm going to use the greetings of the season and my two and a half inch punch and my two and three eighths inch punch and another punch. Let me get it. This is my bow punch and I'm going to use that as well. So punches are really easy, really fast. Um, they're, um, they're faster than dies, um, but then our, our, our shapes are limited with the punches. The, we have, Stampin' Up! has a lot more dies than punches, and uh, the shapes are endless. So let me set these aside until we need them. I'm going to bring over my paper trimmer. I am going to score at four and a quarter and cut. Ooh, I got a, pe a piece of white on there from a die, a punch out. And I'm going to cut at five and a half. So I have two card bases out of one. Um, piece of cardstock. I'm only going to use one though. And then I'm going to use cut a piece of white five and a quarter by four. That's for the inside. Okay. Then I want this paper, so I want it to be di directional. I mean, the card is directional because the DSP is. So I'm going to have an up and down card. So I'm gonna cut this at four inches. And then five and a quarter. There we go. This is a really, really simple card. All right, I'm gonna put one of these card bases aside because I don't need it. All right, I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna fold this card base in half. Give it a nice crease. Then I'm going to take, I'm gonna use my Tombow glue tonight. Um, I was using it last night. I made some uh, ornaments for um, our family family reunion. We're having a um, ornament exchange. So everyone brings a homemade ornament and you wrap it, but you don't put any name on it. You don't put any to or from or anything. And then everyone that participates, everyone that brings an ornament, 
will take an ornament and then um, and the ornament can be signed um, actually it's a good idea if it's signed okay so now I'm gonna just put some glue on the back of this beautiful DSP oh my goodness it is gorgeous you guys Oh, look at that. Just that is beautiful with the sentiment. That would be gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to take... You know what? I did not bring any other green with me over here. Let me get some scraps of green, different colors. Trying to find multiple colors of green. All right. I think I'm going to do some garden green too. Here we go. Sorry about that. I just want to have options. I love options. All right, so this is my bow punch. It does punch two at the same time. Um, so I'm going to do garden green. Old olive. Mossy Meadow. And you know what? I think it'd be cool to do a bow, a little one, out of that gold. Maybe a couple of them. Then I want to take my larger circle, which is the two and a half. And I'm going to punch out a circle. And then I'm going to take my two and three eighths. And punch out the white. And then that will fit right over top of that. See? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, so now I need to have a sentiment for this. Oh, there's so many on this greetings of the season. Wishing you a whatever. Uh, to you and yours, holidays, happy, merry. Oh, and happy and merry, they're, they're in different fonts. So they're on there a couple times. May your holiday season be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration. Wishing you a, see, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Right here, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It is. I love, love, well, you know I love Christmas. And then also with the greetings of the season, we have all these um, dies as well. But I was just doing punches. I was just going for the easy. Okay. So I, th this is brand new, you guys. I have not used it at all. Oh. 
I think I want to do Mary. and Christmas and I want to do it's the most wonderful time of the year okay so I'm going to put this on a block oh I gotta get it over right because we don't want part of the stamp being off the block. Then if I rock it, it's not going to print right. I think I'm going to do... I was going to try to put Mary and... Um, Christmas on the same block. But... I don't, I, I don't think it will work right. I think there'll be too much space between it. All right. So I should have stamped this on the inside before um, I glued that down. Because if I mess up, then I can't flip it over and use the other side. But it's okay. I'm not going to mess up. Okay? Hopefully, I'm not going to mess up. Please, you guys. Say a little prayer right now. Okay, I'm going to just tap, tap, tap in my garden green ink. Tap, tap, tap just very lightly. Oh, you guys, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love it. Love it. And clean that up real quick. Then I'm going to take my label and I'm going to say, and then my Christmas. Oh, that worked out well. Look at that. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to put that aside, clean these stamps real quick. Has anyone else done any Christmas stuff in July? I love, 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 love it. Okay. I'm going to put these on in the case and there is a place for all of them if you can find it where's Mary oh Mary's right there and it's the most wonderful time of the year All right, oh, put these back in there. And I do keep the dies right with the stamp set. That's nice, so then when you go to use it, it's all right together. If that's really loud, I am really sorry. I am like really dropping things heavy today. All right, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal. And, and the reason I'm not using the glue is because it slides a lot on the foil. So I'm just want to be sure to uh, make sure it's down really well. And there's, you know, I don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. But I want some ribbon behind it. Um... I don't know if I want that ribbon. 
Let's see what other ribbon we have. Um, let's see. I'm going to grab my catalog. And I'm going to go to the back. Somewhere back here. Well, it was. Let me let me go to the guide. I'm still not really um, familiar with the catalog. I keep trying. Um, embellishments, dies, embossing folders, inks and colors, paper packaging. Um, Stamp sets, punches, ribbon, page 113. Oop. 113. So I'm looking for a white. Ooh, that would be pretty. This white with the silver on it. It's silver and white half inch sheer ribbon. Um or the white um, petal pink and white diagonal trim. So let me grab both of those and see if those look better. And then we'll take a vote. All right. So we got this one. And if I can find the other one. We so we have this beautiful ribbon. That kind of blends in a little bit. I don't like it. I don't like it with the gold. I, I, I can already say that. Do you guys like it with the gold? I don't think it. I don't think it really looks that well. Um, I'm gonna try something. My other device is looking very um, fuzzy and I'm hoping that it's not fuzzy on the camera. If someone's watching can just kind of tell me if their feed, if the picture's okay, that would help a lot. Okay, so we'll keep that out. But um, let me see about this one. That would be pretty. Do you want the white or the vanilla? What do you think? There's not much difference. I'm thinking I like the vanilla better. All right. I got all kinds of ribbon here. Okay. I want to kind of just do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, I wonder if I could just do that. That would be pretty. I like that. Let me do that. All right. So I'm going to actually just put adhesive down here and then I want to pop this up with dimensionals you know me I like that dimension oh look I'm gonna use finish up a whole sheet of dimensionals here which means I get a new sheet some a new sheet of dimensionals is like a present on Christmas morning 
Okay, so... I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to put some greenery in here. I'm just going to See what I got here. Um, I like that gold. Maybe I like um, the gold closer to the dark so it stands out better. And then maybe some, you know, vellum would really look pretty on there. Okay, I think that's how I'm going to do it. So now I've got to take it out. Put some glue on there. And just again, I'm just using very little glue, very little. Trying to stick that down in there. All right, I think we need some dots or something, don't we? I think we need a little more bling. So I've got those extra punches I'll save for another card. Let me see what I've got for... Um, <laughs> Let me look in here what kind of gems we have. Just so I can see them all at once. That's why I'm looking at the page, at the book. It's page 114 and 115. Um, and I'm looking for gold. Blooming pearls. I just had those. And I don't know if there's gold in them or not. There are, there are gold in the blooming pearls. Let me use those. Okay. I need my take your pick tool. I hope my doggies are being good. Oh. They drive me crazy sometimes. I'm going to go with a larger one and put it up here. And then a smaller one, maybe both right there. Oh, I like that. So here's our card. Just Merry Christmas. It is, uh, again, the bow punch and the two and a half inch circle and the two and three eighths inch circle. Blooming, blooming pearls. And then the DSP. 
How do you like that? What do you think? Tell me what you think. I'm not seeing any comments come through, so I'm wondering what's happening. All right, I'm gonna put these away. I'm going to point you back up to me. Hello. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, again, my sister is going to stop in tomorrow for dinner on her way through to up north. Um, we've got a gal coming over to um, meet our dogs to see if um, she'll be able to uh, dog sit for us um, as we've got things coming up. And we don't want to leave the dogs alone, um, you know, too long. So, you know, we were thinking for the reunion, for the wedding. Oh, my goodness. There's so much going on. The wedding plans, we did uh, quite a bit this week. I shouldn't say we. Um, Courtney and Aiden are doing most all of it, and they are doing such a good job. But they did invite us to do uh, taste testing and um, to go see the venue so we have so we know what the layout's going to be and all that. So it was a lot of fun. Um, both parents, sets of parents were there and it was, it was good to, to start, you know, melding our, our families together. So you guys have a wonderful evening, a wonderful weekend, stay safe. And, uh, I'm loving these cooler temps, at least, you know, the less humidity. It's, it definitely does help when, when it comes time to sleep. So you guys take care. And thank you for joining me. And as always, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.